Okay. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing well. It's a new day. A new week. Almost a new month. An opportunity for everyone to progress forward. An opportunity for all to make strides, make improvements, and do things that they would like to achieve. I know, it's early. And I know people are getting up, getting ready for work, going jogging on the road, walking, running, and getting prepared for their daily tasks for the day. As you know, it's imperative to keep you all abreast about what is happening. And that is exactly my intention. So, that's what I'm doing at this point in time. So, thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button. And then hit the subscribe button after that. Sounds like a plan. So, let's talk now. And let's talk about something very, very important. And specifically, that's in relation to players. John Powell says, up Simon, blessings to bro. Big up John, hope you're doing good. Now, Roshan Williams. As you all know, Roshan Williams is a player that played for Manchester United in the academy at centre half, played alongside Tyrrell Warren, and it was progressing very, very well. As you guys know, Stephen Hawson is a good friend of mine, and we've spoken about Roshan so much time. He's watched Roshan since he was 12, 13, coming through the ranks. And he just went on to be an outstanding defender in the, the academy. Now, the reality is... He wasn't given the assurance that he would have made the transition to play in terms of the first team at United. So he made the decision to leave and to go down the leagues. He's getting games, getting playing time. And you'd remember that last year we did a video video was in relation to Roshan and his desire to play for Grenada. This was something that was told to me and it was tough to take it at this time because this is a young defender, so powerful and somebody that personally I think could have added value to the program. However, Roshan Williams has had a conversation with Kieran Agard, sorry, Kieran Agard, and Jordan Garrick, and Roshan Williams has decided to play for Jamaica. He's interested, he's willing, and he doesn't want to be involved just for World Cup qualifiers. He wants to be there for the entire journey. Friendlies, Gold Cup, Nations League, World Cup qualifiers. He doesn't just want to be part of the team that qualifies for a World Cup. So, I ask you all, what is the show? What is the show when you have an individual that wants to be part of the journey, that doesn't want to just be part of the gold at the end of it, that actually wants to play and help the team qualify. I think we've seen everything that you have to see right there. It shows, and it's something that we should really, really be embracing. something we should be happy about, something that we should be fond about. And now 
the question comes universal in meditation. So it's blessings and encompasses morning Simon. Good morning. How are you guys doing? The question now comes, what is Jamaica looking like right now in central defense? Damien Lowe. Richard King. Adrian Mariapa. Liam Moore. Ethan Pinnock. But let's say you add a Roshan Williams to that. Think about the all experience that you as well. Well, because Roshan will be Put it this way. Roshan Williams will be actually embedding into the culture. Roshan was born and raised in Manchester to a Jamaican dad. Yeah. So it's now for him to be able to move on to that next step. Do you have his email? If yes, please provide the same. Mr. Campbell will be, we will be in touch for sure. We'll be in touch for sure. But I want you guys to think about this for a moment. Wouldn't you want to have the reinforcements now instead of 2025 when the qualifiers start or late 2024? Next year's Gold Cup. I have no problem giving 10 to 12 players their debut next year. No problems at all. No problem at all. Uh, you want to see them from now. Going into a World Cup qualifying cycle and going into the World Cup qualifiers, probably one or two new faces at the most. I want to have that settled team for the qualifiers. Canada did it. And remember, they kept a similar core from the preliminaries when they're playing Aruba and Curacao and St. Kitts. That's what I would like as well. That's what I would like as well. But folks, I would like to hear what you guys have to say about it. I'm compelled to hear what you guys have to say. If this is something to be embraced, I need to see your comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Tell me how you feel about it. I need to know how you guys feel. It's early morning. It's a new day. I wish everybody peace and, and success throughout the course of the week. And we'll be in touch. Alright guys? Be safe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments video below. Like this video before you go. Before you go, like this video. Ensure you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. You know, more is already coming your way. Like this video. Share it as well.